Sang Chang is the head of a local council in Prievia province in northern Cambodia. When he took office in 2007, a dispute between the villagers and a local businessman over ownership of John Pre Lake was the first thing on his agenda. He made it his number one priority to secure the lake for the villagers. I kept my word to the villagers and assured them that we would fight to take the lake back for our community. And he succeeded. It took him more than two years to win a case which reflects the challenges Cambodia is facing in its current post-conflict era. The country's development is often accompanied by conflicts between the rural poor and business interests. As part of the local governance reform which UNDP is assisting, the councils in all 24 provinces and municipalities form associations called the National League of Commune, known locally as Sangat. And in the case of John Pre Lake, this was vital for a successful resolution. Tucked in the middle of a forest, John Pre looks more like swamp, covered by grass and weeds. But locals rely on the lake for water, cattle and fishing. And the fight over this 70-acre lake reflects the increasing pressure that natural resources are coming under across Cambodia. Facing deprivation of a major source of livelihood, they collected thumbprints and filed a complaint with their commune council. The commune chief, Sang Chang, admitted that he first felt powerless to act until he joined the commune office Sangat Network. It plays an important role for councillors like us in raising awareness and working together, to be bold in advocating for issues concerning local people and for progress in our communities. Through the provincial network of councillors, the issue surrounding the lake got the attention of central government in the capital, Phnom Penh. The local community can benefit from tourists visiting this site. Tourist income could help to meet the needs of people, such as building roads, digging a pond or a well. This is our hope. The villagers now have a bigger plan for the lake and its surrounding nature. They hope to see their communal asset become an eco-tourist attraction.